these women say their babies were stillborn. Courts convicted them of homicide in a country with harsh abortion laws, a sign greets visitors arriving at a sun-filled two-story house in El Salvador's capital, you must enter smiling, it says. Before you come in, you will find an invisible bag where you can leave your sorrows. When you leave, you can decide whether to take them with you. Teodora Vasquez knows the women seeking shelter, support or a fresh start here often have decades of sorrows weighing on them. And she's propped up this sign beside a green plastic turtle near the front door as a first step toward the healing she hopes they'll start to find within these walls. It's been 25 years since El Salvador made abortion illegal in all circumstances, eliminating any exceptions. And it's been nearly as long since lawmakers passed a constitutional amendment declaring that life begins at conception, Vasquez was among more than 180 women who advocates say were unjustly convicted of crimes after suffering obstetric emergencies, including miscarriages and stillbirths, in the years since the revised penal code and constitutional amendment went into effect. Activists warn that these women's experiences show how dangerously far criminalizing abortion can go, Vasquez was convicted of aggravated homicide and imprisoned for more than 10 years before El Salvador Supreme Court commuted her 30-year sentence in 2018. The overcrowded Ilopango women's prison where she lived for over a decade seems like a world away from the airy garden courtyard Vasquez points out as she gives a tour of her home via Zoom, but she says the experiences she endured behind bars, and how important it is to help others who've gone through the same thing, are never far from her mind. This house isn't just where Vasquez lives. It's also the headquarters of Mujeres Libres El Salvador, an organization she founded. The group's name means free women in Spanish. And legally speaking, that's E.